Are you going to the lunch break yet? Okay. Are you going to the lunch break yet? No, not yet. You know what I was thinking we could do? Uh, MySpace Live. <laughs> What's your boy Tom? Have you been on the MySpace? Yeah. You have? Yeah. You really had a MySpace profile? Yeah, of course. Yeah. With the whole music. You had one too? Yeah. That's crazy. Hey, uh, we should do how to reset your codes without a computer. If it allows you. Because I'll, some some guys don't know it. And I think that goes all like across the board, not just like Volvo's yeah. eyeliner, same, yeah. same uh, yeah. deal. Yeah, you want to do that? Yeah. 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 It will not start. Tony, you don't mind being on the camera, do you? You don't have any people looking for you? No. Good. Tony came... <laughs> Tony, you you watched our show, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, so that's why you're here. Why are you here? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, well, he's, he's creating value for trucking communities. So. Do you want to... So, <clears throat> here's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about what can you do to try to reset codes and issues with autom across the board, right? Um, any manufacturer and or issue with transmission, engine... Well, if you're derating enough, I don't think that's going to yeah, help. Yeah, no, that's not going to help. But uh, some things will Never help. know, you might get lucky. I mean, we haven't ran across that scenario, but they might get lucky. I doubt Mainly it. what I did, what, what would have worked for me was <clears throat> um, uh, eye shift in or stuck in gear uh, or 10 speed Eaton's automatics. It would help that. Like XY shift or XY codes, shift. Yeah. et cetera. Yeah. What else could it ho help with? I think mainly uh, trans issues, mm -hmm. the local level. <laughs> I don't think you need that. You just uh, unplug. Well, you can also unplug, unplug it or the, put a fuse in there and bypass it. Yeah. Paper clip. Yeah, which is another one. Um, That's another hack right there. Hack. We will do some hacks and tips. Um, but as of right now, we're talking about resetting the codes. Uh, two things is you could do manually first there. Does it does it wipe it out completely? If you manually delete it. Yes. It does. Yes and no. Yes and no. Uh, if and it's active, it's still going to pop up yeah. right away. Inactive, so, so, it's so this is an additional way for uh, for anybody to try to reset the codes. So let's, um, you know, you, you don't have to do it right now. It's pretty straightforward, but you just need, you just need a... Adjustable wrench, I mean. Yeah, obviously. simple stuff that yeah, you should carry stuff. with you. Remove the negative first, and then go ahead and remove your positive. Mm -hmm. The ones that are coming from the starter, which are going to be your heavier gauge wires. Yeah. And these right here going to the frame rail. Well, this is going to the cab, but this one, this other ground right here. And also, at the same time, not only look at the condition of the connections, right? But also look at, we don't have it here. But you know the Volvos have the switches here? The kill switch, yeah. Yeah, and that, that acts up too a lot. They fail or they melt, cause fires, etc. Mm-hmm. Um, so definitely uh, stay on top of the batteries. But if you disconnect it, I'll leave it for 20, 20 minutes. minutes yeah. And uh, even, even, even um, I would say even SCR codes, the def pump, right? Without that, that could... I haven't, you think we that haven't would, had that scenario yet. We haven't, no, we haven't. But sometimes it acts up, like the dozer, yeah. or uh, that's usually due to def quality, but... Def quality, yeah, we had a couple of those. That's something that you could try. I, I, I mean, that's, that's not going to hurt. It's worth a shot. Yeah, it's not going to hurt. It's cheaper than what? Paying the tow bill? Yeah, it is. Automatics uh, than more than anything, to be honest with you. And then, yeah, so do you have to delete it in the menu? Sometimes you are capable of doing it, but not all menus, not all fleets are set to delete codes from the diagnostics. I, the no, no. Yeah. So that's one of the ways to do it. Well, not also delete the codes, but this way you have a check engine. You can get an idea of what's going on. Google the, the code, mm -hmm. just to get more info on it. Yeah, Google Don't has- Don't get scared of the yeah. code. Google has a lot, and then we we say a lot with D-rate. If you get a D-rate message, sometimes you might keep going and the D-rate is never gonna kick in. We've had that happen before where it would give him this uh, 45 mile or 45 mile per hour D rate, 
and within an hour and it didn't it kick, never in. kick in yeah it it is a risk but um, we had one like 500 miles didn't we yeah like he did it like 500 miles yeah. on the way back yeah but that's that's the tip tip for resetting your codes unplug the batteries wait 20 minutes i would say try it a couple times at least if it doesn't work um if you get stuck in the check gear, your fuse too. check your fuses, fuses right here. in the meantime as you as you're doing this as you're disconnecting you can just run through all the fuses the main ones well, up and f if you got a tester a test light is not going to work because you got your batteries on, uh, disconnected you so know but visually i mean looking at the fuse yeah, if pull it's them broken up. Yeah, yeah yeah well you have 20 minutes to kill yeah. so you better bring <laughs> pliers <laughs> you need pliers and adjustable wrench and you, you'll be fine uh and then run through the fuses so uh auxiliary anything that i mean any fuses uh, just make sure you double check them all right that's uh what tip tuesday for you tip 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 wednesday <laughs> okay all right thank you guys for watching subscribe share and we'll talk to you soon